Hello guys, Mars Freemans here. MetaHuman Animator is finally here, so I wanted to make this quick setup tutorial and share some thoughts after playing it with it for a while. So we will start by opening up Live Link Face app. In app, choose MetaHuman Animator mode. You want to have your iPhone close to your face, but not too close. To better understand what is good distance, let's go to settings, then enable preview depth. You want your face to be in gray color. If you put your face too close, your color will turn black. So you need to get your face a bit farther from the screen. Same thing happens if you're way too far. Now we can disable preview depth and start recording our calibration video. You want to have forward facing natural face pose, then turn your head slightly to the right and then slightly to the left. Then you also need calibration shots for your open mouth. And now you can record actual video that you want to animate. Now we need to install MetaHuman plugin for Unreal Engine 5.2. Then in your project settings, go to Edit, Plugins. Search for MetaHuman plugin, enable it and restart the project. After restarting the project, missing project setting window will appear. Press enable missing and restart the project again. Now we can create a new folder. Then in the folder make a right click and under MetaHuman Animator choose Capture Source. Open it up. You have two options here. You can either copy your video from your iPhone to your PC and search for your video local directory or send video over Wi-Fi. In my case I will download video over Wi-Fi so I will choose Live Link Face Connection. Here you will need to enter your local IP address that you can find in your Live Link Face app under OSC server. Once you have set up source, you can go to the tools and select capture manager. If you have done everything right, under the source you should see your iPhone. Click on it and you will see all your takes. Select takes you want to use by adding them to the queue. Then click import all. After that, similar like it is in Mesh to MetaHuman, we'll make a right click, choose MetaHuman Animator, then MetaHuman Identity. Open it up and it will require to log into your Epic Game account. Then click Create Components from Footage and choose your calibration take. Now click on the body and choose Height and the body type. Then we can click on the natural pose. Click on the camera icon and move slider to define the face forwarding natural pose. Then click plus to promote it as a frame. Do the same thing for the left and the right side. Once you are happy with your frames, you can click MetaHuman Identity Solve. Now we can preview how our face looks like as a MetaHuman. If your results are good, you can click on the Mesh to MetaHuman. Then depending if you want to create a MetaHuman in your MetaHuman creator, choose Skeletal Mesh only or Skeletal Mesh with a full MetaHuman. Then let's click on Add, Add Pose, Add Teeth. Then find your teeth calibration pose. Once you find it, click plus. Now here, depending from your bite, remove either upper or lower teeth tracker. Then click fit teeth. Now click prepare for performance. This will take the longest time to finish. While you wait, check my beginner friendly custom MetaHuman course, where you will learn how to give your MetaHuman a truly unique look by customizing body, adding texture details, making new grooming assets and outfits. After it's done, in a folder make a right click. Go to MetaHuman Animator, MetaHuman Performance. Open it up. Then in the footage capture, choose the take you want to animate. In MetaHuman Identity, select the identity you just created. Then you can click Process. After processing is done, you can preview animation. I like results, so now I can export it as a regular animation. In Export Settings, I will disable Head Movement. Now we have realistic looking face animation. If you want to use it with a different MetaHuman, you can just export it and import in different project. MetaHuman Animator is an amazing tool to create realistic facial animations, but when it comes to the MetaHuman creation itself, I'm still getting better results using facial scans. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Till next time.